What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. You're probably wondering why I'm here. I was out in them back fields walking around just to check it out. I usually come here pheasant hunting because they stock these game lands near the school property. So I thought a little change of pace today. But while I was out there, I cut off trail and went into the woods a little bit. And I came across the most beautiful grove of tulip poplar trees ever. And there is so much bark laying down. Must have just recently fell. It is prime. So it got me thinking, um, I can either grab grab all this and carry it out. I can fill my haversack, but I already had some stuff in there. Or if you have a schmog or you have a piece of cotton cloth, you can really easily make a quick backpack. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick on the fly backpack with the material you might be carrying anyway. Okay, so I have a piece of cotton canvas here. This is a three by three. You can use any size you would like. As long as it's square, it works perfect. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bottom edge and you're gonna fold it up to your top edge. Try to get it as even as possible. Um, it just keeps the project smooth and flowing. Okay, so we got that. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these sides and you're gonna bring them upward towards the top here, okay? They can overlap a little bit. What you don't wanna do though, is you don't wanna bring them down across the bottom. So we wanna bring them up across the top like that, forming a straight section here. So I'm gonna bring that in, just like that. You're gonna see wherever it falls the best. And then you're gonna take this top piece and you are going to simply bring it down, just like this. Now, at this point, we need to place three closures on this. Now, what I mean by that is you can either use safety pins, or if you remember earlier in this week, we did a video on the wooden needles with rope, you can also use them. We need to secure or sew this, this, and this. So once that's done, it's going to create this large pocket that we can use, and I'll show you how you can add straps. So now my big envelope is complete. I have my wooden needles through each corner. And what that then does is create this big bag. Now, you can simply take this bag and throw it over your shoulder like this um, and walk very simple. And there's also a lot of room. I have a military poncho liner that I just jammed in there. So you can see that this thing, you fill it up, get it down in there you are good to go. Now this could be a little bit tiresome on your grip strength, depending how much weight you're putting in this thing, if you are just gonna grab onto this. So an easy way to add a strap to this is to tie a rope off to that top flap in which we were just holding on. So I used a piece of rope that I had, I used a sheet bend for my knot, and now I can really easily just sling this thing over my shoulder and hold it like this, which is way more comfortable, and if it's hard on my hand, I can wrap the rope around my hand and go switch hands, wrap the rope, and go that way. Now, one downfall with this bag, though, is it is an open design. So, depending on what you're going to stack in here or how much you're going to fill in, you're going to start to get this effect that it's leaning backwards. So, an easy way to fix that if you have a double rope and a sheet bend in place is literally just to close off the bag by wrapping it around the front. And then I come in the loop of my sheet bend, pull my lines through, just like that. And now it closes in my pack. So at this point, what I can do now is I can throw this over myself like this, bring it around my waist, tie it off, and I just created a backpack out of a piece of rope, a few sticks, and a square piece of cloth. So nice and easy, it's something you can make quick in the field if you have a schmog or something like that with you, and you can carry your stuff out right quick and in a hurry. All right, so there you go, guys. That is how you put a backpack together with a piece of rope and a square piece of material and three little sticks, and you can be on your way, packed out, loaded out, when you don't have a pack available, you just make one. And that's what bushcraft is all about, just making stuff on the fly out here in the woods. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm ready to go back and get some of my tulip poplar. I'm excited about that. It's tough always to find in my general area. So uh, I'm getting back out there right quick and in a hurry. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe and like button below. You can also check us out over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, make your pack, stay in the woods.